Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive DMV deaths. Few people enjoy their trip to the DMV. For a Woonsocket man, it got even worse when he was told he couldn't renew his registration because of a 14-year-old tax bill. And we've learned a law that put a limit on when the government can come after, or come after you, I should say, for back taxes doesn't apply to motor vehicles. It's obviously reprehensible. It's, it's, it's un, unacceptable. Now, a state lawmaker says our report is prompting him to re-examine that law. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor is here now with the details and what they mean for you. Shane Sartini walked into a AAA to renew his car registration in February 2018. Instead, he was told he had to pay $916 for back taxes on his car from 2004 to 2006 if he wanted to renew his registration. Shane Sartini says he pays his taxes on time and keeps tax records dating back a decade. But that didn't help him in 2018. I didn't have any of that documentation. I wasn't even with that bank anymore. So I had no way of proving my case. Sartini says he never received a written notice from Woonsocket of the tax block that prevented him from renewing his registration and decided to contest it at City Hall. He even took his case to small claims court, but was told it was a matter for superior court. By then, his time ran out. I had no choice but to renew the registration, so I paid under protest. On March 5th of 2018, he paid the city of Woonsocket $916. On the memo line, he wrote, payment being made under protest. I was like, this is, this is not fair. A spokesperson for the Rhode Island Department of Motor Vehicles says in an email that a new computer system in July 2017 made it easier to link municipal tax records to DMV records. 10, 12, 14 years later, that's unacceptable. It shouldn't be, and it should go away, and shame on the state for doing that. State Senator Frank Lombardi introduced and helped pass a bill in 2019 that created a 10-year statute of limitations for personal income, sales, estate, and corporate taxes. But Lombardi says he didn't include vehicle taxes because there wasn't a demand at the time. And that means right now, according to City of Woonsocket Assistant City Solicitor Peter Wasilek, Cities and municipalities can come after taxpayers for debts that are decades old. His view as the assistant solicitor is that cities can continue to do this, municipalities can continue to do this to taxpayers until this is fixed via legislative action. What's your response to that? If he thinks that, uh, certainly uh, people that are watching, I'll go to Ledge Council and ask them to look at this. The Legislative Council writes the bills that may eventually become laws. When I asked Sartini why he was still fighting what he calls a wrongful tax block three years later, he says it's about the principle. Sartini says he's certain this has happened to others around the state. With the Target 12 investigators, Tolly Taylor, 12 News. More details now in a Target 12 investigators exclusive DMV deaths. At 5, we told you. A legal loophole allows the government to come after you for motor vehicle taxes that are decades old. New at 6, Target 12 has data that shows in just one year, more than 120,000 Rhode Islanders weren't able to renew their car registration because of a tax block. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor is here now with what he's learned. When you paid your car taxes two decades ago, you may have kept those records for several years. But here's the problem. As it stands right now, if the government says you never paid those taxes and you don't have proof that you did, they can stop you from renewing your motor vehicle registration. Shane Sartini learned he couldn't renew his car registration until he paid back taxes he owed from 14 years earlier. I went to AAA, went to go renew the registration. They said there was a tax block. He tried to fight it in court, but since he only keeps his tax records dating back 10 years, he says there was nothing he could do. I know I'm not the only one. There's several people out there that I'm sure that they did this too. It turns out it's more than several. Target 12 obtained DMV records on tax blocks that show the DMV implemented more than 7,800 tax blocks on one socket residents in November 2017. Sartini was one of those. Overall, in fiscal 2018, the DMV issued nearly 121,000 tax blocks statewide. The Rhode Island Department of Motor Vehicles updated its computer system in July 2017. And that update made it easier to link municipal tax records to DMV records. As City of Woonsocket Assistant City Solicitor Peter Wasilek explained, taxpayers still have to pay even if they aren't notified about the tax block. Despite a law that says residents must be notified about outstanding tax bills, Wasilek says that does not apply to car taxes. For Rhode Island State Senator Frank Lombardi, the entire situation is unfair. 
The only way you can defend yourself is, is if there were fresh records. Lombardi says he now plans to explore if the law needs to be changed. Lombardi helped pass a 2019 law that created a 10-year statute of limitations for personal income, sales, estate, and corporate taxes. Regardless of what the letter of the law says, the spirit of the law, is, yeah, is this I, fair to taxpayers? You're telling me 12, 14 years ago. That's, that's extremely problematic to me that we're depriving someone of the right to register their vehicle and to pursue a living uh, based on something that's so stale. Lombardi emphasized that for lower income Rhode Islanders, that 14-year-old $1,000 tax bill would have been an unexpected expense they couldn't afford. With the Target 12 investigators, Tolly Taylor, 12 News.